Oh, new hair hoodies. Hey guys! This is Hussein, your Arab Three Mary, and you're watching this channel. Quality content. So today, we're talking about the bipolar bitch you love to hate or you hate to love, Gemini. I know this is way too late, it's supposed to be cancer season, but you know what? Who gives a fuck? I got my own margarita that is not in a margarita cup, <laughs> that is not in a margarita glass, but <laughs> find the fuck that I don't be given. <laughs> today I, by the way, today I'm only talking about Gemini Sun. If you want to know more about Gemini Moon, click here, up there, where I talked about Gemini Moon. And we're not going to talk the other placements I'm going to talk about in another video. Without further ado, let's start with the video. Air ray warning in one, two, three. Action. Ah, Gemini. So before we talk about Gemini, let us bring up some Gemini bitches, shall we? Yes, we shall. So first up, we got Naomi Campbell, Tom Daly, Mackenzie Ziegler. Hi, sisters. <laughs> Tom Holland, L. McBroom, which is the only McBroom and person from the Ace Family that I care about. <laughs> Psych. Kanye West, Tupac. Oh. Johnny Depp, Chris Evans, Marilyn Monroe, Our Baby Angel, Troy Savant, Iggy Azalea, aka Iggy Eggs, Nicole TV, Morgan Freeman, and finally, Anne Frank. Do you like my new haircut, by the way? So, Gemini's. <laughs> the bitch that everyone hates. For some fucking reason, I personally love Gemini to death. Gemini's are ruled by the planet Mercury, the planet of knowledge intellectuality, communication, and their element is air, and their quality is mutable, and they are represented by the twins. The Geminis are the craziest people that I have ever met in my entire life. <laughs> they are fucking crazy. How, you know, when, some of the things that are known about Geminis and people, t well, they're not known. People say about Gemini is that they are two-faced, crazy, and liars. That's a lie. That's the lie. The fact that they said they're liars, liars is the lie. Geminis are not liars as much as people think. I think everyone lies. It's just that Geminis are so honest that they get caught up in the lie so quick because they just laugh in the middle of light. They get just like caught up in it and they just start to giggle, which is like, <laughs> it's like obvious, obviously bitch you lying. Gemini's tell the fucking truth. They hurt bitches feelings. <laughs> that is, that is, that is the tea. They actually hurt a lot of people's feelings. <laughs> they don't, they don't really care. They don't really care. Actually, they don't. Like people think Sagittarius is the blunt one. You haven't met Gemini. You haven't. Geminis are also um, not, you know, I would, I see why people might say they are two-faced and backstabbers and fake. It's because Geminis hold dearly to one idea. Like, this is their conviction. They're going to hold on to it. But the thing is about Gemini that makes it different than most other signs is once that conviction proven wrong, Gemini, oh, sorry, I don't know, can you see me? Okay. Gemini instantly goes like, you know what, this is wrong hold on to the something that is right. You know why? Because they're not afraid to be like, you know, I changed my mind. They're an air sign. They change their mind a lot. A lot. And they're not afraid of saying that. I have met a lot of Geminis in my life. I never hated a Gemini, even though I had a friend of me in elementary school that we were, you know, on and off, hot and cold, but that was not me. That was not me. I'm a Taurus. They're the Gemini. They were like, like, I remain the same bitch that I am. No, that's a lie. But, <laughs> like, I don't know. I think we're both were bitches. That's, that's the tea. Two bitchy young femme boys. Like, that's what the fuck happens. Like, we, I think we were so alike that we, we butted heads frequently. That was the first Gemini that I have met until, like, 
way much more later. My cousin, one of my cousins, is a Gemini. And when he was young, he was so fucking obnoxious. He was so annoying. They always gotta know. They're always, they're so fucking curious. They're like the curious cat. They gotta know. They got to fucking know. All the tea, like all the information, they gotta know. They, they're messy. They're really messy people. They love the drama. They love the tea. They love when bitch fights happen. They, they don't necessarily like when fights escalate to like such a level that it's like serious they love fights that are so petty and dumb that they can laugh about it and tell everyone about the mess also there are manipulators and i find that true gemini's are manipulators and some of them i have found to be cheaters but that's in every sign they do manipulate they do manipulate people emotionally and psychologically into into things because Gemini's are detached people. They imitate emotions. They they imitate emotions and they imitate uh, things that they have seen and behaviors of emotional people and things in response, like to respond in a correct way that they're not actually feeling, but just to respond to it. So say for instance, I don't want to go someplace. Gemini's will try to do whatever in their power to get you to go there. You know why? Because Gemini's, just like every other mutable sign, is a sore loser. They don't like when things don't go their way. And unlike fixed signs, they're not obvious about it. They're very passive aggressive people. Like if you met any Gemini, you would know that they never have enemies because all their enemies are their frenemies. They like to, sorry, they like to roast you as a joke. As a joke. And they love to poke fun at you. They love to talk shit. They love to talk about people behind their back. Not always, but they love to do that. <laughs> they love to do that. And another thing they also do is that when they're in a bad mood, they're in a fucking bad mood. Like, they do not understand if you're in a good mood. They don't understand it. You cannot be in a good mood when they're in a bad mood. And you, and if you're in a bad mood and they are in a good mood, you're a Debbie Downer. So it's very difficult. The idea that they are hot and cold comes from the fact that their emotions are like waves. They come in sometimes long, large, fucking deep as shit. This sounds kind of wrong, but you know, like that, like a big wave. And sometimes they like, they like recede <laughs> off of the shore, like into an abyss, like. You know what I mean? You know, like that, I met a lot of Geminis, but I rarely had a Gemini friend. But the thing is about them that made me feel very curious was that they hated everyone. <laughs> like Gemini hates everyone. They don't have real friends. They don't have real friends. I think that reflects on the fact they have existential crisis. They just don't like anyone. And they're detached emotionally because they're afraid if they're left alone with their emotions, then they're gonna they're gonna realize how much they hate themselves. Not necessarily hate, but they would not like themselves as a person. In high school, though, that's the tea. I have been with two Gemini's. I have met them. They were like my school friends. They were my school friends because my other friends were not in the same lane. They all had commer commercial business and I had literature and psychology, which I loved. Not really, but I loved it more than the other shit. Anyways, one of them had to be the best of the best, like the best of the best. He had to be on top of shit. He had to be great with shit. Like he would talk to all the teachers. He would talk to all the students. Like he had to be with everyone. But the thing is at some point that facade runs out and the battery dies and when the real him comes out, it is not cute. I think people thought he was beautiful only because he was skinny. Because, and he had great hair. Because I'm imagining him without great hair and it's like just a, a skinny guy with unibrows and big teeth. Ugh, gross. The other one was loud. He was the epitome of an obnoxious Gemini. They were, he was 
a know-it-all. He knew everything. He got all the right answers and all of that. And they both were born in late May, which I think the reason why they were so much like go-getters and have to be the best is a reflection on the fact that they are Gemini, Taurus, Cus. It happens, I said it before, people that are born in end of May is not so much my kind of people. I'm looking to black China. We got that on the people that I've met during school years. However, after school, I have met a couple of Geminis and one of them of which was, is not was, she is still my best friend's sister. She was, um, well, according to what I've heard from her sister, she was, she's clearly crazy. She's clearly crazy. And the other Gemini that I have met, I have met at work and she was not pleasant. Needless to say, I like Geminis. I like Gemini as a sign. I'm in love with the chameleon nature that they have. There are chameleon people. They're very adaptable. They're fast. They're quick on their feet. They're quick to give an answer. They're, they easily make friends. I'm a Gemini Venus and I love the fact that I have a Gemini Venus because it makes me look at the world and dating and having friends so lightheartedly, heart, heartedly, heartedly, but it also has a something that is a blessing and a curse at the same time. I get over people quickly. I get bored with people quickly. <laughs> so it's not my fault if I dumped you, but it is my fault that I dumped you. No, it's not my fault. It's just on me. It's on me that I dump you but it's not my fault. And that's about that. I think I talked very quickly about Gemini's right here. It's because I gotta make this video quickly to pick, give it to y'all. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. Like, that's all I gotta say about Gemini. You know, people hate you. People wanna put you down, but you always get up. You always fucking get up. Like, I love the resilience that it takes for people to be hated on their fucking zodiac sign. Can you imagine people being hated over race, over gender, over sexual orientation and religion and ethnicities and financial backgrounds and education and there are legitimately, legitimately a huge group of people that hate people for the, the date they were born at because of a sign. That's all I gotta say. Stay strong. Love you, bitch. And I'll see you in the next one. Defund the police, bitch. Wait, it's not working. Okay. Again, defund the police, bitch.